Hello and welcome to a new episode of Analysis. In this video, we will talk about a groundbreaking technology that could change the lives of millions of people, Neuralink. Billionaire Elon Musk's Neuralink company has successfully implanted one of its wireless brain chips in a human for the first time. The tech billionaire Musk Elon Musk is saying his Neuralink company has successfully implanted one of its wireless brain chips in a human for the first time. He may Neuralink is a company founded by Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur behind Tesla, SpaceX and PayPal. Neuralink's goal is to create a wireless brain computer interface that can enable people with paralysis to control devices with their thoughts. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not anymore. Because Neuralink has just announced that it has successfully implanted its first chip in a human brain. This is a huge milestone for the company and for the field of neural engineering. But what exactly is Neuralink and how does it work? And what are the potential benefits and risks of this technology? Let's find out. Neuralink is based on the idea that the brain is a complex network of neurons or nerve cells that communicate with each other through electrical signals. These signals carry information about our thoughts, feelings, memories, and actions. By recording and decoding these signals, we can understand how the brain works and how to manipulate it. This is the basis of brain-computer interfaces, or BESAs, which are devices that can connect the brain to external hardware, such as computers, smartphones, or prosthetic limbs. CIS can be used for various purposes, such as restoring sensory or motor functions, enhancing cognitive abilities, or even creating new forms of communication and entertainment. However, most existing BESAs are either invasive, meaning they require surgery to implant electrodes in the brain, or non-invasive, meaning they use sensors on the scalp or skin to measure brain activity. Both methods have limitations. Invasive BESAs can cause infections, inflammation or tissue damage, while non-invasive BCs have low resolution, accuracy and bandwidth. Neuralink aims to overcome these challenges by developing a minimally invasive BCI that can be implanted in the brain through a small hole in the skull using a robotic device that can insert flexible threads, thinner than a human hair, into specific regions of the brain. These threads contain electrodes that can record and stimulate neural activity, as well as a wireless chip that can transmit data to a smartphone app. Neuralink claims that its BC I can achieve high data rates, low latency and biocompatibility, making it a potential game-changer for people with neurological disorders or injuries. Neuralink has been testing its BCI on animals, such as pigs and monkeys, and has shown impressive results. For example, in a video released last year, Neuralink demonstrated how a monkey with a BCI implant could play a video game, such as Pong, using only its mind. The monkey had learned to control a cursor on a screen by moving a joystick. And then the BCI decoded its brain signals, and replicated the same movements without the joystick. Neuralink said that this was an example of how its BC I could enable people with paralysis to use computers or mobile devices with their thoughts. But Neuralink's ultimate ambition is not just to help people with disabilities, but to enhance the capabilities of healthy people as well. Elon Musk has said that Neuralink's BC I could eventually enable humans to merge with artificial intelligence, or AI, and create a new species of superintelligent beings. He has also said that Neuralink's BC I could allow humans to experience telepathy, shared memories, or even a collective consciousness. These are some of the futuristic possibilities that Neuralink envisions for its technology. However, Neuralink's technology also raises some serious ethical and social questions. For instance, how safe and reliable is Neuralink's BCI? What are the possible side effects or complications of implanting a foreign device in the brain? How will Neuralink's BCI affect the privacy and security of personal data? Who will own and control the data generated by Neuralink's BCI? How will Neuralink's BCI impact the identity and autonomy of individuals? How will Neuralink's BCI affect the social and economic inequalities in society? 
How will Neuralink's BECI change the human nature and culture? These are some of the issues that need to be addressed before Neuralink's BCI becomes widely available and accessible. Neuralink's BCI is undoubtedly a revolutionary technology that could have profound implications for humanity. It could open up new horizons of knowledge, creativity, and innovation. It could also pose new challenges, risks, and dilemmas. It is up to us to decide how to use it wisely and responsibly. That's all for this video. I hope you found it informative and interesting. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified of my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.